Hi guys, so in last class we saw so framework structure introduction like what knowledge classes are there and why we have created like this okay so now in this class what we'll do we'll go each by each block and we'll create it in our uh, project okay so let me uh, do one thing let me create one fresh uh, maven project and we'll start adding dependency one by one and then we'll create this pojo classes okay so this is the document i have created what i'll do i'll upload it in uh, github you can get it from there also okay so what is the first uh, first step here is like create maven project okay so let me go here new project maven maven project okay next next here we can give like api dot automation automation and here we can give kr okay so our package name is like api dot automation dot kr okay perfect let it get created yeah perfect so now let me open the pom file and add the necessary jars okay necessary dependencies not jar but we'll add dependency maven will do for us so here under dependency j unit is there like j unit we doesn't need so let me delete it okay we, we will be adding test ng dependencies over there okay so so add dependencies for test ng okay so this is what the version i'm going to use you can use any version okay 6.14.3 you can use any version no no worries about that under dependencies tag we can add like this okay let's click on save then we can add for rest assured dependencies for rest assured okay so this is dot 3.0.0 dot zero dot zero i am going to use so under this paste it perfect okay yeah now add dependency for hamcrest assertions so we will be using our assertions using hamcrest that's what this dependency is required okay so we'll add this we'll add this also perfect and add your fire okay so this this why this is getting used you know if you want to run maven uh, any like a test ng project through command line or by right clicking on test ng dot xml file you need this okay then only your test ng test cases will get triggered and execute okay so that's what we will just copy this this and we need to paste it where we can paste it we we should not paste it uh, inside dependency it will be outside okay as a like independent build tag okay so this we added now what we have to do we have to add compiler okay maven compiler which will compile which will compile our code so this is what the compiler i am going to use we need to paste it inside this properties tag okay perfect hmm. So now we are done with the setup. Setup. Now, now going to this framework. So what we'll do? We'll, we have created our project and added the uh, necessary dependencies. Okay. Now we'll go to this first block. Okay. This main. Main is there, right? So this one. Inside main, we will be having one Pojo classes uh, package. Inside that Pojo classes, we will be having having uh, different different poses okay and these poses will depends on how many json objects you are going to use in your uh, in your uh, automation okay so in our application it is like a small so we have just three json objects right one json object is this the second one json object is this this and the third one is like whole okay so you can see like this though this is one json object and this is one json object right yeah so these three we will be adding okay so i have added this in document also see see adding pojo classes so first we'll add for for office address then we'll add for home address and then we'll add for ah uh, for our user the main one okay so so in office address what and all are there building number is there right okay so let me go to project and why this error is coming just a second oh it is pointing to j, j unit and we have already deleted anyway we don't need this file so let me delete it why my system is hanging just a second guys okay perfect 
<coughs> sorry for the inconvenience okay so so let me go inside our main folder and we have one package over here like this but we'll add one more package mentioning like this is pojo okay so just package api api dot automation dot pojo okay we'll create like this inside this first first which one we have to create for first add office address pojo class okay so we can just right click click on new click on class office address pojo okay just will give like this yeah perfectly fine now what and all uh, variables we need to depend over here is like building number that is of type integer okay so private int just there is okay this also got captured okay building number the second variable is like address line one okay address line one let me copy this and type is a string private string address line number one okay sorry spelling mistake perfect now the next one is let me copy it two three times okay now we can give like address line number two so we can make it address line two third one is like landmark okay we can write landmark and the next one is card id card id okay and one more thing one necessary important thing you need to concentrate is like like whatever variable name is there right so it should be like same 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 name yeah, and it is case sensitive okay that's what you have to write in the same same key you need to add it okay and the next one is private and that is like pin right and it is of type integer private int pin perfect now to create getter and setter what you have to do you have to right click here and go to sources under sources you will be having cj read getters and setters right see so for which and all you want to create a getter setter so we want to create for all so let me click on select all let me click on okay see what it did it created getters and setters for you so what is the main advantage of this is so using this class instance okay you can if you want to set some building number okay then you can directly provide like uh, you can use this not this one the set set building number and you can provide like integer building number so whatever building number you will provide that will get set in this variable building number okay similarly similarly if you want to fetch that okay just you after setting that you can uh, hit this get building number so it will uh, fetch you the the uh, the whatever you, the value you have set over here okay so this is what similarly like if you want to get the address address uh, what is the address uh, line one value then you can get this one if you want to set set some value to this you can use this so we will be using all okay so this is what the first pojo class we created and the second one is like home address pojo okay so let me go over here right click new class home address pojo okay perfect okay so what and all variable are there mostly all are same but few difference are there just just let me copy paste it here and we'll change accordingly okay so we'll go here and see first is house number right so house instead of house number it is building number so let me make it house number perfect the second one is aadhaar number okay so let me make it and aadhaar number is also typing right private int aadhaar number okay perfect now and then address line one address line two landmark pin and one is like office address okay so other number this 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 this, this and one one we need for office address okay so private so what is that office address 
for office address this is a type of its address so we need to have this instance of this one okay so just this one the type of that office address is like this office okay perfect yeah okay so this is what it was okay now we can generate getters and setters okay just go to resource and you have to select getters and setters select all okay click on okay so it created okay so see like house number for house number if you want to get get the house number you can use this method if you want to update house number then you can use this number okay so likewise uh this office address pojo so this office address pojo okay so what is the return type return type of this office address pojo return type of this method is like whenever we will you be using like get office address what it will do do it will return you this the instance of this office address object okay office address pojo class okay so this is what it, it is and for setting you need to provide the instance of that office address details here so when we will be using you you will get to know each and everything okay so no need to take any tension now what is the next one next one is like user pojo class id name date of birth and address details okay for address details we have like home address pojo perfect let me right click here go to class user pojo okay perfect inside this we have private int id private string name what was the next one dob private string dob see date of birth it is like a date date so we can uh, use date also but but our developer world how they have created this application they have provided it as a string so you need to provide some string value over here okay that's what we have made it as a string so those details you'll be getting it from uh, developers okay so address details so address details is like home address instance it should be okay private home address okay home address okay perfect just right click here go to sources click here generate get as it has select all click on okay yeah perfectly fine so this is what the all pojo classes got created okay so in this hour we we completed this this first uh, pojo classes we created now what we'll do we'll create this util class in next videos okay that's it for so means uh, might be you will think like why i am doing this it's just uh, have patience for just two three videos so once we'll complete the structure then you will get to know like uh, why we have created like that and how we are using in our test cases okay the automation script what we, what we, we are going to write okay thank you guys bye for now